So we're talking about slip and also twinning, possible twinning in uh, BCC. So here's the slip plane for BCC. Um, then you have in FCC, you can see these gaps here. Yeah. So um, it's not close pack structure at all. And when, when you get slip from on a one on one plane in the BCC, comprised of three partials, a small 110, a larger 112, and a small 110. Two, three. Now, um, the thing is about this slip, ultimately this slip gives you a translation of 111. Um, to get somewhere close to this uh, in terms of uh, what does this mean in terms of a is it possible then in a one one it's on a one one uh, one one oh plane in bcc is it possible to get twinning well twinning requires that you have the same partial dislocation on each successive plane the possibility for the plane to shear in each case in the same direction so we'll try it with the with the first partial in the BCC 110 slip, there it is, and then the second partial, sorry, it should be there, and there it is. So basically there and there constitute very small twinning displacement. Um, so it is possible then in a, in a, in a BCC material to get some form of twinning operation going. And if you were to continue it further and take the larger 112, do that, you can also do it in the same direction in, on the second plane. So basically all twinning requires is that you need um, successive planes to have partials all in the same direction that are unimpeded by further shear.